Hello, welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real life American English. Today we're going to learn to avoid some common mistakes, so let's get started. First, this is not correct. I've never practiced British accent. I cannot say I've never practiced British accent. Because accent is specific in this case, I have to use the article the, the British accent. I've never practiced the British accent. So remember, with accent, you have to use the article the. I've never practiced the British accent. This is also not correct. Please answer my question. Which accent are you speaking at the moment? It's American. I speak American accent. But listen, you can choose your own accent. You cannot say I speak American accent. Here, we need to use the preposition with and the article an, with an American accent. It's correct to say I speak with an American accent. You cannot say I speak American accent. I speak with an American accent is correct. So when you use the verb speak, use the article an, with an American accent. Example, I speak with an American accent. My friend speaks with a British accent, using the article a, a British accent. Or maybe my friend speaks with an Australian accent. Let's practice. Do you speak with an American accent? Very good. Let's listen to that again. Please answer my question. Which accent are you speaking at the moment? It's American. I speak American accent. But listen, you can choose your own accent. He said, I speak American accent, but lesson, you can choose your own accent. Lesson? I think he means listen. The word is pronounced with the short I sound like this is. L -l listen. Make the sound I -I. L listen. Not lesson. Lesson is something completely different. But listen, you can choose your own accent. I speak with an American accent. But listen, you can choose your own accent. This is also not correct. Now, if something is a bargain, it means it is being sold at a lower price than its real value. For example, the real value of a phone is $1,000. But if you can buy the 900, it's a bargain. He said, but if you can buy the 900, he writes that, but I think he said the, but if you can buy the 900, this is not correct. When we use buy, we need an object after buy. The 900 is not an object. We need an object like it, or maybe one. So you can say, but you can buy one for 900, or but you can buy it for 900. We need an object and we need the preposition for. So you can say, the real value of a phone is $1,000, but if you can buy one for 900, it's a bargain. So, it's a bargain if you can buy one for $900. Let's practice. Is it a bargain if you can buy one for $900? Very good. That's not really a bargain. It's only 10% off. Oh well. This is also not correct. Now, there are some people who are always searching for things which are a bargain. Those people are bargain hunters. A bargain hunter is a person who hunts for bargain. You cannot say a bargain hunter is a person who hunts for bargain. The word bargain is countable, so I need an article. A bargain. A bargain hunter is a person who hunts for a bargain. Or I can change bargain with an S and make it plural. Bargains because it's countable. I can say a bargain hunter is a person who hunts for bargains. Let's practice. What is a bargain hunter? That's right. A bargain hunter is a person who hunts for bargains. Let's look at the definition he writes. It says a bargain hunter is a person who likes looking for things that are good value for money. We don't say it like this. If you say value, it's countable. We have to say uh, that are a good value. And for money, well, we don't say that at all. So just eliminate that and say a bargain hunter is a person who likes looking for things that are a good value. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a member, click the join button. And we'll see you next time.